Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are watching Stranger Things Season 3, Episode 3. So, last episode, Billy has shown us, I guess, what a fully morphed or merged individual can look like. Like he's he's almost fully merged with the the monster, the monster, but he's also a lot more functional than Will was. Will was always like sick and bedridden. Yeah, maybe because his body's a bit weaker. I don't know. Whereas Billy is now living out his will. He's creating what we believe to be an army of humans that are going to serve the upside down's will that is bloody crazy and now again, again sorry will as in like yeah desire not will the character <laughs> yeah, maybe just stop saying will and oh it's a good word like to use but the freaking character's name's know, ruined it i know um i just want to clear up so last i'm pretty sure it was last episode i was getting confused i was like where does he want to take her like is it to will the person will and no, the monster was saying to take the girl, like the lifeguard girl, to the monster. Because he's like, oh, take me to him. I'm like, to oh. who? Will? Well, yeah. And it wasn't Will, obviously. Yeah, okay. I don't remember you being confused about that because yeah. that was straightforward to some of us. <laughs> Anyways, I feel so sorry for Billy because it really, I feel like in this town, he doesn't really have anyone that that is he's always around. No one really cares about him. Yes. He hasn't forged those connections. So, like... He's, man, easy, he's easy to hate, and he can piss you off for sure. But then when you do realize how alone, unloved he is, that's why he compensates so hard yeah. to try and be the number one top dog and get all the attention, because really, no one cares about him. And then... Yeah. He happens to get bloody, you know, captured by this monster now. I know. But I do feel like this now gives potential, I would like it, for a Billy and Steve duo at some point. Because now that he's aware of the upside down yeah. to some capacity, assuming he survives it and gets free, then I think that opens the doors. Well, I feel like the only way that someone will discover Billy is... You know, probably just Nancy and Jonathan with the rats. Then following up the rats, they're going to find the rats and yeah. they'll see Billy there. Like There I'm is saying. that. There's also Will. His, his body seems to be, to be reacting a little bit. Yeah, but you think that's going to lead Will to Billy? Well, if he somehow exposes what's going on, it might make people think again that something's going on. Like, like mm, point him in the right direction. If he maybe. has some sort of connection, we don't know how deep on this connection can go. He may want Will back as a host because mm. his body's already been sort of set up for it before well we do have dustin and steve with i can't remember her name but that girl all trying to uncover what this code is from these russian spies i guess yeah yeah true and we oh. do know the russian spy is in hawkins yes so i wonder what that code's gonna unveil is it gonna give them somehow the clue that they're opening the gateway again I don't know because we know that. So I'm wondering if we're going to get new information from Discovery or it's just yeah. that our characters are going to discover what's going on. Yeah. Thank you everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Is Mike a good kisser? I don't know. He's my first boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Yeah, she's a little reminder. reminder. I guarantee you, him and Lucas are like, totally wallowing in self-pity and Miss Raymond going, <laughs> Oh, I hope they take us back. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Maxie's uh, stance on this matter. I never chat with my boys. What is it? Oh, they can she listen can see in. Where they are? That's cheating, dude. What did I do wrong? What did I Mike, do wrong? Stop. Relax. Dude, Mike's annoying me now. Like, relax, dude. Okay. Stop asking rational questions. <laughs> because women Lucas. have emotion and not logic, precisely. <laughs> I love it, Lucas. Different species. Different species. I love it. No, Lucas, no. No. Lucas, Lucas! Oh, no. That's too much for poor little innocent Eleven. What? <laughs> oh, lucky it was goofy and not bad. I thought it was gonna like strain the friendship again. Oh, is that? 
the top from his date. That never happened. Oh, shit, yeah. When I say three inches, three. Do you knock? Jeez. Yeah, jeez. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was Will. He's not used to that. Max wanted to have Oh, yeah, Mike. Sleepover. Whoops. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah. He loves this now. He's like, this is the best day of my life. He's finally seeing her being like a, just like a girl with girls. That's nice too. Did you need something? No, no. I'll, I'll leave. I'll just let you. I'll leave you. Dude, man, poor Hop Hop's in like poor shape this season. <laughs> but he's happy. Really? That was all his issues. Just Mike. Mr. Oh. Wheeler. Oh, boring. Yeah, boring. What are they gonna do? Maybe like try and spy on them and then I'll get Billy. Here we go, Billy. Billy. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay, you so ready? This is how they discover. Makes sense. Okay, well, I was wrong. I'm used to it. <laughs> Oh shit, this is not what you expected to find. But Billy might be able to see her. Cause like of the monster. On the floor. Talking to someone. And it's a girl, but Oh dude, I'm nervous for Elvia. Oh shit. Oh. oh He could almost see her. Oh shit, that was trippy. Oh damn, dude. That's about what I expected, but damn. Oh my goodness. Well, at least someone knows about it, you know? Hopefully yeah. she tells an adult and doesn't keep it like all child actors do. They probably just keep it to themselves. I have seen into the future and I've seen that today is a new day. A day free of girls. Yeah, oh. good day. It's so early. Is it? Is it early, Michael? <laughs> Tell that to the villagers crying for your help. Get into the spirit. Are you truly going to let them perish? Or are you going to come to their rescue and become the heroes you were always meant to be? I kind of feel sad because Dustin's not there. Yeah, I'm missing my boy Dustin. Hopper, are you here? <laughs> oh, look who it is. Oh, no. I've been stood up like oh, that since shit. Alice Gilbert in the ninth grade. Oh. Joyce. Hello. Just watch. I don't know why she's not gonna even talk to him about it. She's got bigger things on her mind. You stand me up. No phone call, no apology. She forgot about that till now. Because you had to go to Scott Clark's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Joyce, come on. You're not seeing this? To build a machine like this, you need resources. You need scientists. You need funding. Tens yeah. of millions of dollars. Joyce. It can't just be a coincidence, Hopper. It has to be them. Joyce is always first on, on, on the case. It is impossible. Well, then prove it to me. Prove it. Yeah, take me back there. To the lab. Yeah, I want to go back. Because some magnets fell off your fridge. Yes. <laughs> when you is put that, it that way. Yeah, sounds so simple. It makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now, but I'm thinking maybe we can meet up there, like tonight, <laughs> like seven o'clock. And he'll stand you up. I think that when I asked you out, I think you got scared. I think you got scared, and now you're inventing things. You're inventing things to get worked up about. Oh, damn. Because God forbid any of us move on. Oh, I do feel sorry for Hoppy. Oh, damn. What the hell are you doing? I need to borrow these. No, you're not going back there. Joyce. Joyce, you're not going back there. She's dead serious. <laughs> oh my god, what a morning to wake up to. You really want to do this?
I mean, Elder doesn't even need to be afraid of Billy. Like, it's not really Billy. It's literally this monster. Oh, there's blood on it. Blackburn Supply, Hawkins Farming, the Crawleys, they've all had some supplies go missing all in the past few days. They're just going to take the piss out of her, aren't they? Oh, no, I'm waiting for it. So little rodents have gone cuckoo in their fertile minds and they're running around the town of Hawkins dining out on chemicals. How is it hard to believe when you already heard the story about Bob? I think this is big. Bigger than one article. In fact, I think this has got to be a book. The Mysterious Case of the Missing Fertilizer. A Nancy Drew Mystery. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, here I thought we you actually go. had it back. Next time a call comes in, <laughs> do what you were hired for and let us know, yeah? We'll decide what's a real story and what's not. Damn. I thought she was winning him over. Obviously not. Bye bye, Nancy Drew. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Nancy, Nancy. Oh, Jonathan really cares for her. Where's the sailor man? Sorry, he can't help you. He's busy. Busy with what? Not your damn business. Spycraft. Oh shit, what the hell's he up to? See anything? They're trying to suss to see if there's a spy somewhere. And Jacoby's talking with that meathead Mark Lewinsky. Dude, if you're not gonna focus, just give me the binoculars. Oh Jesus Christ, whatever happened to standards? No, oh, Steve. Stop, hey, give me stop. Besides, I don't even get why you're looking at girls anyway. You have the perfect one right in front of you. Seriously, if you say Robin again, Robin. <laughs> she's quite perfect. No, Robin. no, Robin. no, no, man. She's not my type. She's not even in the ballpark of what my type is, all right? She might as well be because she's great. She's a weirdo and she's hyper. I don't like that she's hyper. And she did drama. That's a bad look and she's in band? No. Steve, what are you on? Don't you think it's time you move on from primitive constructs such as popularity? A primitive constructs? Yeah. That's some stupid shit you learned at camp. No, nothing. Camp nowhere. Actually, I know what shit I learned from life. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, Dustin. Dustin. Instead of dating somebody because you think it's gonna make you cooler, why not date somebody you actually enjoy being around? Like me and Susie. Oh, Susie. That's nowhere to be around. Dude, I reckon Susie's gonna be a stunner. Just shut them all up. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like thunder. I want to be in their game. <laughs> it's a horde of juju zombies. Sir Mike, your action. They're not enjoying it. What should I do? Attack? Okay, I attack with my flail. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're only half assing it. The juju bites your arm. Flesh tears. Ah, seven points of damage. Oh, no, my arm. Lucas, look, my arm. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. He's really trying too. Do you fight back or do you run? Do not laugh in his face. No, it's a distraction, a trap. Do not answer it. No. L? Poor Will. All right then. I'll use my torch to set fire to the chambers, sacrificing ourselves, killing the Jujus, and saving the Kuizar. We all live on as heroes in the memories of the Kalamar. Victory. Yeah, what the hell happened? They've all lost interest in it, man. Fine. You guys win. Congratulations. Well, I was just messing around. Oh, stop it. Don't, don't do this. Let's finish for real. Yeah. How much longer is the camp? Just forget it, Mike. Yeah, it's about time they got squared up. We'll just call the girls afterwards. I said forget it, Mike, okay? I'm going home. Oh. Yeah, that, that took it for granted, man. He's been trying for days. Yeah. And now you want to run after him. It's a cool campaign. It's really cool. We're just not in the mood right now. Yeah, Mike. That's the problem. You guys are never in the mood anymore. Yeah. We're going to our party. That's not true. Really? Where's Dustin right now? Yeah. They're in fantasy land with the girls. Tell him, Will. But we're not kids anymore. I mean, what did you think, really? That yes, we you are. Get girlfriends? That we're just gonna sit in my basement all day and play games for the rest of our lives? Have some balance, man. I guess I did. Yeah, but the men missed out on so much for a couple years, you know? Will! Will, come on! He didn't get to live that childhood. He was bloody doctors poking and prodding with monsters. Yeah, no. 
Dustin never would have acted that way too. Dustin would have actually been with Will. For sure. For sure. So these two, these two need to sort their shit out. Heather. Do you think you can find her? So if it's someone that she doesn't know, she probably needs to concentrate a bit more, I'm assuming. Because now they've gone back to covering. Yeah, maybe. Depends on the environment too. Without static, she needs some sort of sensory deprivation. Ice bar. No. Is she underneath it? I bloody hope not. Oh my god. Is she getting dragged under? And like Elle can't reach her. Oh my god. Holy shit. Imagine seeing that. Poor Elle. Can never catch a damn break. God damn. That's right where Bob was. This is where Bob, yeah. It's the last place we saw him. Come in peace. She probably needed this as closure as well. Oh, Bob. Dude, oh my God. Horrendous last moments, man. Why are we watching this again? Holy shit, dude, it's brutal. The camera is active. So they may, they may not be at this facility, obviously, but they're watching it. Maybe they are just downstairs. I'm not sure. Delivery for you. <sighs> Thank you. What has she worked out? Tell me she actually finds the spy. The silver cat. Silver cat. Silver cat. Oh shit, Robin. Damn, Robin's the one. If you tread lightly. If you tread lightly. If you tread. If you tread lightly. No way she's figured this shit out. And blue meets yellow. And blue meets yellow in the west. Oh, it's like a meeting spot, maybe. What are you doing? I cracked it. Cracked what? She cracked the code. I cracked the code. Woo! Damn, I'm Robin. All right, settle down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. Pigs. Careful, Pigs. It might have rabies. <laughs> It's coming for him. A rat is coming for him. It's cringe, man. They're all good. They're all laughing at a girl half their age. Like, relax. What's this? Proof. Proof? Yeah, they said they wanted proof, right? So let's give it to him. A rubber rat? The real one. The real rat. Keep up, Jonathan. Give me the keys. Yeah, give it the keys. You're relentless, you know that? She knows that's his weakness. Never gonna let her go by herself. You, on the other hand, you'd be like, take him. <laughs> All the cavities have been filled. I watched them do it, Joyce. Yeah, but... Damn, man. The history of this place is huge. It's over. I wish it was, man. I really wish it was. You know that I'm keeping a close eye on things, right? Yeah. Because it's important to me. It is important to me that you feel safe. Oh, Hop. And no one cares about Hop. I want you to feel like this can still be your home. Yeah, like she doesn't have to leave. You didn't think I'd find out about that? Oh, damn. Gary called me. He said he's fixing up your house to put it on the market. I don't want them to leave. Damn, man. The kids know yet. 
Damn, they don't even know. You have people that know what you've been through. Yeah. People... yeah, that's true. Right here. Oh. Hope I love you. I love Hot Man. I mean, people like Scott Clark. <laughs> she just stabbed him and twisted it. It's a joke. Poor timing for the joke. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, what the fuck is that? No, I'm sorry, man, alright? I was being a total asshole. Please, can you just come outside and we'll talk? Will! Did he go home? Oh, is oh, that Castle Bias? Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. What is it? What if it's the Devil Lord? Oh, they're so cute! Oh, man. I miss them like this! Oh, me too. Wow, I didn't realize how much they'd grown up. I know! I thought they were silly little babies. Oh, all their good memories when they were actually into the game. No, don't, don't, no. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh, no. Damn. I hate seeing him like this. Yeah. And I think it's more than just that. It's what was it all for? Everything he's been through. If he doesn't even have his friends in the end. He's not ready to let go of that child childhood part of himself and everyone else is. That really makes me sad. It's Nancy from the Hawkins Post. What did the rat do to her? I hope it's the rat by itself and not with Mrs. Driscoll. Yeah, or it might have grown. It's in her! What Run! the fuck? This is <gasps> what the hell? Fuck! Run, man! Run! The wave's that whistling guy, 10 o'clock! What do you think's in there? Guns, bombs, chemical weapons, whatever it is, they're armed to the teeth. Oh, damn, they look serious. Just for some stock. Hey, what's in there? It's just more boxes. Let me check it out. No, I'm still looking. Let me see it. Hang on. Oh, oh no, no, no. Come Day on, three. guys. Oh, they're holding hands. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn, don't leave the door. Thank goodness for that. They are lucky, man. Well, I think we found your Russians. Oh, shit. Things are getting intense now. Talking chief of police, come out with your hands up. You hear me? Hands up! What could it be? I'm waiting to find out what is it. Oh, that guy! Oh, it was him. No! Fight back! Come on, Hop! Holy shit, dude. Come on, Hop. Oh, no! Joyce will come, surely. Yeah, Hop's not in good shape at the moment. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, he's gone. He left. Well, lucky he didn't kill him. That's right. At least, at least 
Joyce can identify him. Yeah, she got his plate. Because I don't think Hopper saw his face. Is this it? Oh my god, now we're going to see Heather. Nah, this is something else. Oh shit, look at that. Oh, I was ready to square up. Yeah. <laughs> They're just walking to their home. Oh, she's the daughter of Nancy's boss. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Billy's there. What the hell? I tried to knock, but maybe you didn't hear us over the storm. I'm sorry, who is this dripping all over my living room right now? Oh my God. The attitude. This is my sister Maxine. Oh! What on earth are you doing here? Man's not happy about it. We just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Okay? Why wouldn't it be okay? Where is she? Oh! Where is who? Well, they're a little burnt, I'm sorry. Heather! This is my sister Maxine. And I'm sorry, I did not quite catch your name. Oh, it's very sauce. Oh, shit. So she's drowning now, but the monster's probably inside of her. I saw your manager at the pool. He said you guys didn't come into work today, so we got worried. Heather wasn't feeling so hot today, so we thought we'd take the day off to nurse her back to health. No, she was feeling cold, wasn't she? You're feeling just fine right now, aren't you, Heather? I'm feeling so much better. It's such a, like a eerie scene. They're fresh out of the oven. I would not eat those. Mm -mm. Have some rat residue in there. Oh, yeah, no. damn! It's remembering her. Oh shit! Shit! He's. Pupils are dilating. dilating yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Leave my boy Will out of it. Tell me under his control. Oh, he said it. Finally. Thank god. to slow down on that wine, Janet. Yes, darling. You okay, mommy? What is about to happen? The only little light it is, so. It's all that wine. I'm sorry. Um, if you'll excuse me. It's it's moving around hosts. It's got the it's got the wife already. Yeah, probably from the food or something. Janet. What's that bottle? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's poison. Or oh, like to put him to sleep or something. I'm really sorry about this, Daddy, but it'll all be over soon. I promise. Oh my. Dude. That is creepy, man. Shit. Creepy, creepy Heather and Billy. Oh, he's officially back. It's actually disgusting. I'm just glad that Mike actually said it. No, and really. Didn't wait. Will, we always. Sorry. Oh, I, no, it's you never do. I usually do. I always Fuck. get Will and Mike. I know who they are. It's just the name that I always like stuff up. I don't know. Yeah. We know who they are. Don't worry. Yeah. Couldn't have been to do with the fact that I had to wait for 30 seconds of you laughing. And my brain lost its mojo. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. 100%. It threw me that's off. That's what happened. Mm hmm. Will. Finally said it, thank God, because I'm I so know. used to being like episode eight or seven yeah. or something where we finally let us know the threat's there. So the boys will know that he's back. And obviously- They'll start doing something about it. You know what I love with this? It's always got its three or four mm -hmm. storylines mm -hmm. and they sort of parallel the journey. Like yep. everyone in their own journey has discovered a suspicious element of the puzzle yep. and they all come together in the puzzle. Like that formula is true and true. Love it. Love it because you don't know how it's going to stack up, and and you're still 
The reason it's entertaining is you're still discovering the mystery from everyone's point of view, different pieces of the puzzle, yeah. while still being left in the dark. So you're yeah. getting a bit of this, bit of that, bit of that, and then you sort of see it all come together. Yeah. It is actually kind of creepy to see the monster have like this human body and it's now within people. It's almost like creepier than the actual thing itself. Yeah. Especially within Billy, like perfect person to put it in because he is already like a mysterious kind of like weird guy outcast really. Um, even though he likes to think that he's not. And he remembered L, which is kind of creepy because it's got yeah. like his collective consciousness. It's got its own yeah. will. And <laughs> will. Yeah, I have a thing in here. And you're just seeing it learn, understand. And it's crazy to think that if the Russians didn't fucking mess around, yeah. it was it was trapped, it was done. Like I always thought that it was going to find its own way back, but no, humans again screwed up and opened up a portal without knowing what the hell they were actually unleashing. Speaking of the Russians... Uh, just Robin, right? Like, they just do a really great job of adding more cast members. And you really like... Well, I yeah. particularly like Robin. No, they, they do a great job of making you like new characters quite yeah. quickly and accepting them as part of our core crew. Yeah, for sure. And she's just like a oh, legend for figuring that out. I mean, they almost got caught. But at least now, from their perspective, they know something that's going on here. Um, I wonder what's in those boxes, though. I don't know. And I wonder why the one of the Russian agents was at Hawker's laboratory. Like, what? Was yeah. he looking for something? Did he want something? He's been in and around Hawkins since the first episode, I'm pretty sure, or at least the second. So we know that. Yeah, I'm not too sure. So And, and it was communicated that the gate was open. So once the gate was open, that's when this message was communicated. So it's kind of like, all right, go ahead with, you know, whatever their plan is right now. Yeah. I think that beatdown will be motivation for Hop to get into better shape because I, I feel like the insinuation was he's sort of been a bit of a lazy blob this, epi- yeah. this season. He's been and, chilled and relaxed. But and... at the same time, he wants to protect people and... He got destroyed then. You see he was just slopped with his punches and he was getting knocked around and he just yeah. didn't have the fitness to, to to protect. Yeah. So I might be reading into it too much, but I would like that out of Hop. That was... Fun fact too, people were saying, we call him Hop, yeah. but apparently a lot of the fan base refers to him as Hopper a lot more. I don't know, because I hear Joyce call him Hop sometimes. Yeah, people say it. No, we fell in love with Hop. I'm still going to say Hop. I'm just... I, I've said both. I've like, I interchange a bit, depending on what comes out of my mouth. Yeah, know? it's just interesting sometimes when you realise that the fan base... That's onto a name, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, I mean, it is typical us for everyone to have a name, and then we've got our own nickname for the character or whatever. But it's also yeah. very different when you watch it live. I'm sure a lot of people like between are talking to their friends, watching YouTube summaries yeah. and reviews and theories, and whatever's getting more popular traction. Everyone has to adopt that. Whereas we've just come into this just blindly, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I was gonna say before was, I found it. I just, my heart was ripping in two a little bit with that conversation with Hop and Joyce. Him kind of finding out from someone else that she is wanting to move on and I get it. And then he's talking about his experience with Sarah. And it was kind of annoying me that Joyce wasn't really, especially in the beginning, just listening to his complaints. We saw him suffering and I don't know. Well, they're both suffering in their own way. She's like living in the past, which I get it. She lost a partner that she loves. And her son went through so much. And when you're in that house, when you're in, living within those memories all the time, I get it. And then he's kind of like, I just want to move on from all this pain and, you know. Yeah, make a life. Yeah. Because this is like two tra- tragedies for him now, isn't it? Like losing yeah. his daughter, then gaining a daughter through like horrific circumstances. And yeah, he just wants to move on and be happy. I don't know. Castle Byers has been a really big part of Will. Oh, that's where he was hiding in the first season. Yeah, and we actually got a story as to how Castle Byers came about. He felt so alone and, you know, he was hurting and Jonathan helped him build that for, like, you know, that brotherly connection and to help Will out. And it's something that he kept going back to and now he's destroyed it. Oh, I just it annoys me. Mike and Lucas, like, like, look what they did to my man. I know it is weird that Dustin's been so separated from the group. Yeah, he's with the older crew now. Yeah, like, oh, it's just they're all. I don't know. Like, they obviously, I love the him and Steve, their duo. 
But he, yeah, he's been very separate from that storyline. Yeah. Mike Lucas, they were simping too much. They got to uh, get their act together. Got to rein it in. They used to have a code. They're they're in their crew. Yeah, and in their party. Now they've just sort of breaking it all. I know. I get it. The young teenagers they want to explore, but rein that in, boys. Rein that in. <laughs> I think also, you know, Will was right. Like. You're, you're so blind with Eleven and Max and whatever. It's like you don't even see that your own friend Dustin hasn't been hanging around you. Like there's yeah. a reason for that, you know? Yeah, true. Because none of them will take him seriously or listen. So he's gone to someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, and yeah, Steve like makes fun of him or whatever. But when he's telling Steve something, he's listening really. So this army that this monster was building is, is growing rapidly. Yeah. And no one's picked up on it yet. We've got Billy, Heather, and both her parents, which is Nancy's boss. Yep. And Mrs. Driscoll or whatever her name is. Yeah. Driscoll. She's a unique case because she's almost showing more signs of yeah. the rat. So maybe she was converted in a different way. Mm. But either way, you're just building and it'll continue to build. And it's going to be interesting to see how they inevitably have to face down a bigger army mm-hmm. because, and there may be more to it. You know, we just want to know where the Russians come into play exactly. Yes. I yes. still, this is a bit of a random thought going back to last season, but the whole Dr. Brenner being alive. Yeah, it never came to fruition, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, it might have just been a bit of a way to keep himself alive. He might have actually been lying in the end. Yeah, true. I don't know. That's interesting. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. And if you do want to get early access to our reactions or watch them in their uncut form, we'll leave a link to our Patreon in the description. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you in our next reaction. See you guys.